here's Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of September 2024. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sag. We're going to start off with your overall energy and then break it down week by week. Your overall energy is the Two of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful energy. This is all about being on the same page with someone. For some of you, you could be meeting someone this month that just really knocks your socks off. They are just so in tune with you. It's just an incredible connection. This is a soulmate type of energy. This can be uh, getting together even with a best friend where we're just spending a lot of quality time together. And this is not just anyone this is a very special person that you have a strong strong connection to this could be your spouse your partner where you're making a plan together and you're really really working towards the same goals beautiful energy of synchronicity as well as just um just being in great harmony and cooperation with another. You have another two to start off the month with Two of Pentacles rooted down by Magician. The Two of Pentacles represents a nice balance. Again, two is very balanced energy as the two and the overall energy. Looks like it could be a very balanced month for you or things coming back into balance. Two of Pentacles is all about uh, harmony in the midst of change. This can represent if you are moving from one place to the next, it will be a smooth transaction or a smooth transition. It can be balancing our checkbook, our financial situation. It can indicate um, um, for some of you, maybe you're changing up jobs or you could be getting an additional job. Sometimes this is like taking on an additional responsibility. It could be a secondary job to go along with one you already have. If that's the case, you're managing both very easily. If you're going from one job to the next, it's good. If you're going from one home to the next, whatever it is, it's a smooth transition. And it's rooted down by the magician. This is you as above, so below. You are manifesting something in your life right now. Now, it could be about this connection, uh, emotional connection. It could be about trying to bring everything back into balance. Either way, you are mustering up all of your confidence and all of your focus and concentration to try and bring this into manifestation. So you're very much, you come into the month very much on track and on path here. Nine of Pentacles is at the top of week two, rooted down by the Ten of Swords reversed. Nine of Pentacles represents the, um, the strong independent person card. It could be somebody um, yourself as being very uh, strict and very independent. In week two, you could be just not even wanting anybody's help. You're just trying to look after yourself and keep on course. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who's not struggling. They are fine. They're in a good, solid position. Some of you could be landing a new job or you could be getting an additional income that brings you to the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Swords is in reverse, indicating that there is a healing from a situation that bottomed out. Ten of Swords in the upper right position represents the last straw this is where we cannot carry on like this any longer something needs to give and something did give and now the card is inverted indicating we are finally healing from that situation that kind of went too far mm. Yeah, you can indicate a, a makeup here with a good friend, with a spouse, with someone where things are getting better, they're getting back on track again. Week three, we see the Seven of Wands here, rooted down by the Seven of Cups. Well, the Seven of Wands represents a little bit of defensive energy. This is where maybe we went ahead and did something or we said something, we're just not sure how others are going to take it. That's waiting for that other proverbial uh, shoe to drop. It can also indicate that we are, um, uh, we're about to do something and we're not sure how people, it's also very protective energy. It could be trying to protect our privacy, protect uh, someone else. It could be trying to uh, protect, protect our identity, protect our heart. It's a very protective energy. So, 
could be any of the above. It's rooted down by the Seven of Cups here in the upright position. This is a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. You have to change this around. It could be that you're trying to look for an escape route, you know, where you're trying to, oh, look at this is going on here and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, so I have to have a backup plan. That could be the case. Um, for others of you, perhaps you're just looking into other opportunities and other options. Be very careful when it comes to the Seven of Cups because there's, um, you know, it's very confusing energy. It is Neptunian and uh, not all of the options laid before you are actually practical or um, uh, even advisable. So just be very careful with these options when you're trying to choose, especially if you're coming from a place of of protectiveness. It could be for some of you, this is how you feel. Maybe where you're living is an issue or maybe where you're working is an issue and you're just sort of looking at other options right now and you're like, hmm, I think it's time to get out of Dodge here. So I'm going to look at other options. And you leave the month of September really strong with the Page of Wands in the upright rooted down by the Chariot in the upright. Well, this is, uh, this is your energy. It's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising. You're on the right path with any messages you would like to send or anything you would like to initiate at the end of the month. Because this is excitement, good news. Or it could be that you are getting good news. This can sometimes represent good news about business and enterprise. It could be good news about passion, fun, excitement, and relationship. It can also represent... Um, good news about travel. Sometimes the page of wands is travel agent, uh, letting you know your itinerary, especially when it's connected to a travel card like this, the chariot in the upright. This is uh, cancer energy. And uh, the chariot is all very black and white energy. It's either you, you do it or you don't, you come or you go, whatever it is, but you're destined for some kind of victory or success. It's also indicating smooth travel, Moving forward, it could be some of you need to purchase a new vehicle. Um, again, whatever it is concerning uh, travel or concerning vehicles, looks like uh, it's it will be a smooth um, a smooth travel basically for you. It's also one of those things where you're guaranteed success. All you have to do is just show up. If you get a message concerning perhaps a work situation or something like that and they're saying, well, we want you to come in for an interview, I would go and I'd go quickly because you're probably a shoe in for this. It's the same thing with any romantic um, partners if they want to you to come and travel to them to come see them or something like that you'll probably do it very quickly or they will be letting you know that they're coming in to see you so in closing i will be pulling two cards from the zodiac deck one is for love and romance let's see what we have uh we have scorpio number 20 or number 32 regeneration stand firm in the eye of the storm so could be something interesting happens in your love life when the moon's in Scorpio. It could be with or through a Scorpio. Perhaps you meet somebody new. Maybe Scorpio is the love interest for some of you. There could be a regeneration in your love life. And the next one is for career and finance. What do we have here for Libra? Or sorry, not Libra, Sagittarius. Moon in Virgo, number 18, contentment. The chance to boost health and vitality leads to satisfaction. Nice. So, it could be when the moon is in Virgo or the 18th of the month, something significant happens in your career or uh, finances, or it could be with or through a Virgo that something happens, could be a new business partner or something like that. But that is what I want, uh, what I have for you. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous month of September. And um, thanks so much for joining me. I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.